All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. The first story that I've got for you guys today, the train wreck that is the Arnold Classic UK continues today. With two of the biggest name athletes in the classic physique category missing weight and now being forced to not compete in that division. You can't make this up. Made El Mon, Jose Maria Mete, Barry Barry, who is probably one of the uh, one of the favorites to win the classic physique category is out for missing weight. They did offer to give him an opportunity to make weight um, in 30 minutes to drop four pounds to get into his weight category, but he is now out. Peter Molnar didn't make weight again, probably one of the bigger names in this lineup. He has to switch to the 212 category now. And I saw this first on buys and tries. So I want to give them credit here. You also had Kuba Keelan didn't make weight, so he's moving into men's open. So there were only 10 competitors initially in that classic physique division. So interestingly enough, now you only have, or there was 11, sorry. So now you only have eight competitors left. Um, so Jose is out. Cuba is out. You've got Shane Cullen is in. Michael DeBull, he's a pretty big name. He's in. Corrali Laszlo, Marco Ruse, Wesley Vissers, Giuseppe Zagarella, Craig Morton, and Niall Darwin are all still in. But basically... I think those three guys, well, specifically Jose and uh, Peter, were two of the biggest front runners in this lineup. So now this classic physique category is kind of wide open. A lot of people wondering how Wesley is going to be able to do here. This is like his big return. Michael DeBull, um, I believe he actually won this show last year. So I guess he's the new front runner here. But maybe Wesley now has a shot at, at being a top three guy or being in contention for the win here. Because like I said, I think two of the most dangerous names are now gone. And I think it still remains unconfirmed whether or not uh, Jose is going to be out completely or if he's going to switch to 212 or another division. But that kind of shakes things up. Classic physique, that that uh, that lineup is basically completely shattered with these guys missing weight. Two of those guys were probably two of your top three. Now, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a preview show here for the Arnold Classic UK men's open bodybuilding portion of the show, which will be tomorrow on Sunday. So we've got that to look forward to. Here are some of the guys that I'm looking at in this lineup. Obviously, um, Andrew Jacks, but he hasn't really posted any physique updates going into this show. He's kind of kept things under wraps. Um, but the guys that I'm mostly looking at here, Martin Fitzwater, he posted this physique update, which he said was 16 days out, this abs and thighs here. Martin was just runner up to Andrew Jack at the Texas Pro. I think it was one of the it, it was the best version of his physique that we've ever seen. Very impressive. A lot of improvements, crazy conditioned. Um, I think he's going to be able to do very well here, and I could see him easily in the runner-up position here as well um, if Andrew Jack looks the same as he looked or better um, than he looked in Texas. And assuming Andrew is the favorite to win, assuming he wins the show, I would have Martin uh, in contention for that win against Andrew Jack more so really than anybody else. Now, James Holling said, we've also seen some physique updates from him, but honestly, I don't think James looks as sharp as he has looked in other preps he looks good and he's got some gnarly dense muscle like that's that's what he's known for he trains heavy he's got very dense mature muscle um, but in these updates i don't think he looks as grainy and as as dry as he usually does which is a little bit weird because you would think james would have kind of a home field advantage because he's he's like one of the only top names in that lineup that already lives in the UK, so he doesn't have to travel. He doesn't have to worry about that potential stress or water holding um, during the flight or whatever a lot of these other guys have to deal with. He's kind of got this the luxury of being there in the UK already and kind of prepping at home and not having to leave. So a lot of people really like James, and they might not like that opinion, but I personally am having a little bit of trouble right now seeing him um, as a potential winner of this show, especially against a guy like Andrew Jack. I see I see James in a very similar light as I see Steve Kuklo. Um, and Steve wasn't able to beat Martin or Andrew Jack at that Texas Pro. And I think Martin and Andrew are going to be in a very solid position here as front runners in this lineup. Now, a guy that I feel like could be a real wild card is Mark Hector. Mark Hector was top three in this show uh, Well, when it was called the British Grand Prix um, a few years ago. I think it was 2020. And he's taken a couple years to improve, add some size. 
Um, and he looks fantastic in the updates that we've seen from him recently. Very aesthetic bodybuilder. He was very aesthetic a couple years ago, the last time we saw him on stage. And that was his pro debut back then. He looks like he's added some size. His conditioning looks pretty good. I think, and he's a taller guy, which could, you know, do him some favors next to Andrew Jack. Because I do think that height that Andrew has is one of the things that gives him such a commanding stage presence. But Mark Hector, he looks really impressive in these updates. And I wouldn't be surprised if he wound up being a top three guy. Now, another guy doing this show, it was kind of a last minute addition. He was added to the final competitor list, Max Charles. He could honestly be another wild card in this lineup, but again, he, he hasn't really had the best season um, this past year. Not the best placings. His physique has kind of dwindled a little bit at the past couple of shows we saw him compete at. And against a guy like Andrew Jack and a fresh, a younger guy like Martin Fitzwater, I see him having trouble. But could he potentially crack into that top three against an off James Hollingshead if James is off or potentially against Mark Hector? It's possible, uh, but I really don't see him as being a, a potential winner of this show at this point, especially, like I said, with Andrew and Martin, as good as they looked in Texas. As long as they look similar here, I think they're going to be the two front runners that I'm looking at at least. And there's another guy doing this show that was added to the list, Patrick Johnson. He trains out of Oxygen Gym where monsters are made. And he posted this side tricep shot at 13 days out where I thought he looked pretty impressive very good conditioning although the lighting here um, is definitely some grade a prime time goon light um, very vascular a lot of detail a lot of feathering in the legs um, you can see a lot of detail and striations with the shoulders and pecs he looks like he's on um, and again that was at like two weeks out he could be another guy that's a real serious threat in this lineup the only thing though with him he's got a great upper body but I think his lower body is lacking a little bit in comparison. And this shot over here is probably a better shot uh, to exemplify that point than the picture we just looked at. From the front, I think his quads could use a little bit of size and a little bit deeper separation um, in that sweep. But he's a big guy, and it looks like he's bringing a dangerous level of conditioning to the show. And he could be a guy that we haven't talked about much that comes in, and he's a threat to win. I, I personally don't really see any of these guys beating Andrew Jack if he really, truly is what he says he will be saying that he was 75 to 80 percent at the texas pro was a very very bold statement and if he really does look 25 percent better here at the arnold uk like he says he's planning on because this was the show that he was initially prepping for and intending on doing if he truly looks 25 percent better than he looked in texas i don't see how any of these guys are beating him and I'm still honestly a bit surprised that he showed up, but he did. He is there. He got his competitor number. He is there to compete. He's not just there to do meet and greets. Um, and I think he is going to be the guy to beat. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What are your predictions for the 2022 Arnold Classic UK? I guess now we should be calling it the Experience with Sports Festival, but I'm not calling it that just yet. I will see you guys tomorrow, probably with multiple videos, 212, classic physique, pre-judging for men's open, finals for men's open, all that good stuff is happening tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Make sure you subscribe for all that, like the video if you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up, and as always, I love you guys, appreciate you guys, Nick Strength and Power, signing out. Alright guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also check out my Instagram, at Nick Strength Power. My Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power. My secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, give that one a look. And all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day. Dancing in the good light Everybody's feeling warm and bright It's such a fine and natural sight Every Dancing in the good light Everybody's feeling warm and bright It's such a fine and natural sight Everybody's dancing